Good afternoon and welcome to another cold, windy winter day in the workshop. Listen, I was about ready to put the graphics on this one that's going to go to Australia and it dawned on me, I have never uh, did a short video on how to attach the neck to the box. And I've got a way of doing that that allows you uh, quick access. We did the last video on uh, using these drain cups and a, a bolt and a wing nut to go through the box to open the box up quickly. Uh, but I want to show you a little trick I learned along the way where you just bolt the neck to the box and that way uh, if you have to work on some other things that are associated to the lid it becomes very easy to do you're not trying to break through uh, layers of glue and that type of thing and then you can put it all back together and it works out pretty well so today's musical musical blah, blah, blah. today's musical shout out is to scott h byram i'm going to send you a link to his site he's on tour through the western united states he picks up a slide and plays an old K and Gibson or something, some trashy old thing. And I think you're going to like him if you like our kind of music. The housekeeping, circle in the bottom with the King guitar in it. Subscribe, you're notified of all my videos. Then you got the playlist and the algorithm selection that says this is probably the one of my videos that you want to watch. I appreciate your comments and your emails and thanks for supporting my channel. Now let's hit the workbench. So as a refresher to easy open box, I'm going to put a link uh, to that episode up uh, in the upper right corner there. But we know that I build my boxes so uh, we can open them up really easily using this setup. Now, the way this works is once you take those off, this opens up like this. So when you're cutting your cut out for your box where the neck dives into or goes into you want to make sure that there's enough room on this side so when we're going to attach the neck to make sure that everything works we are going to want to make sure that this is not attached here because if it is attached and we do this and then we find out that these cuts here aren't enough then we're kind of trapped with where we're at. So we're going to unscrew uh, uh, the box from its hinges, the top of the box from its hinges, and then we're going to get this set up where it needs to be and then bolt this up. Now you remember uh, from my past videos, I've talked about how I've become a proponent of the metric system ever since I started having to do measurements on cigar box guitars. So uh, this Camacho box is... Uh, 176 inches or millimeters wide so I found the center point which is 88 and now what I want to do is uh, you can see that the neck here right here you can see how wide that is I've measured that you can see that I have a cutout here that uh, my coil pickup will fit into and so this has all been measured out so what I want to do here is I want to find out where from the center I can put three sets of bolts going down through the neck and then I can bolt from the bottom and this all comes off in one easy piece. Then I simply connect uh, the box to its hinges, the box lid to its hinges and I'm good to go. So the first thing you want to do is you want to know uh, where the center of uh, your neck is and you want to have a reference point somewhere to line that up I usually do that here once the fingerboard is on and at the tail right there so I can see when I'm putting my box on and then of course I know where the center of the box is the next thing I want to do is I want to know how wide my neck is it's about 40 millimeters which puts the center at about 20 that way when I put my lid on I've got a mark right there I've got a mark right there and so I know where the center of my box is. Then what I want to do is I want to measure off that center line. I can't go 10 millimeters out uh, or 20 from the center because um, I'll be at the edge of the box. So I want to make a measurement that's good from the center line. And I find that to be, in my case on this box, it's about 7 millimeters from the center line each way. Then I simply take my t-square like so make sure i'm lined up that way set that oops lefty loosey righty tighty 
then I can go around to the other side like so and make sure that I'm all lined up. Finally, what I want to do is make sure that I have a line this way on each of the sets of holes where I'm going to drill. Flip this one over. That way my holes end up straight. Now you can see that I've drilled uh, pilot holes already uh, to kind of give you an indicator what the, wh where these go. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to center each of these up and I'm going to take the appropriate bit, which by the way I buy my uh, bolts, uh, nuts, or washers and nuts in bulk and I keep the bit that I want to use to match this in the box and I'm going to go all the way down through the neck here so I can put these bolts in and then as you can see this is countersunk and I'll show you uh, how that works in a second here. There we go my first hole is all the way through the bottom of the neck. Now I'm going to put a I'm going to screw uh, and this is going to be tight this is going to be a tight fit I don't want this to be loose and sloppy so I'm going to screw this down and get this anchored and then make sure that everything is lined up before I do the rest of the holes okay there we are first ones through again I don't have the hinges hooked up and there it is at the bottom now I'm going to put another one in over here uh, and so everything is squared up. I know it will fit right and everything will be plumbed up. And then I can go ahead and work on the other ones. There we go. There's a second hole. I'll run another uh, bolt through there, down there. Everything will be squared up. I'll drill all the other holes. There we go. Two bolts in. I'm going to work on these other holes now and I'm going to make sure that they're all lined up straight because the presentation will be better on the top. Uh, you're going to be able to see these uh, heads of these bolts up through the graphics and we want to make sure that those are all lined up right. And then uh, finally we want to use a countersink tool so these are flush down with the top of the box so that you put this on a bit and give it a couple seconds and I'll show you what that looks like in a second. Okay, there's the last of the holes there, um, and I have to put on my countersink tool now, like so. And then I'm just going to go to each one of these holes and give it a little bit of that. And that way, these machine screw heads will fit down in there. Okay, put the other four in. I took the original first two out. They needed just a tad more of the countersink. And then I'm going to run those in, make sure everything's fine, uh, and uh, put the bolts on the bottom. Once I've got everything mocked up, we'll have a final look at it. And then I'll take all this back apart, put the graphics on it, and then put it back together. Now when you're backing these screws out to touch everything up, you want to make sure that you pay attention to the final details where you've got all this in place. So you just take this like so, or you could run it over a belt sand or, or something like that anyway. You get that fray off of there and then you'll use a flat washer and a nylon insert not like that. Now when I'm all done and all the graphics are on there, pretend the graphics are on here, the last thing I want to do is when I'm putting uh, my bolts uh, in, my machine bolts, I want to make sure that the Phillips head is lined up, that they're all pointed the same way. It's little details like that that matter to me, so we're going to point them all up like that. So they're being lined up, we're going to put a flat washer and again a uh, nylon insert knot on there and run all these down and make sure everything's tightened up. All right, there we go. It looks like that. Nothing special, but you know, if I had to work on my 
see my coil that fits here it's not going to just pop out of there the way this is I could uh, pull this off work on the coil put a different coil in do whatever and then also an advantage to this is say I need to do some tilting on my neck just a little bit one way or another I could actually put shims under here I, I wouldn't get into that unless I was doing some corrective work but this gives you all kinds of options so the last thing we're going to do now is we're going to flip this over and we're going to attach the hinges that way we know when it opens uh, is there anything we need to do uh, finally to make this all fit then we go to graphics okay so I've put a couple of uh, screws in the hinge and now we go to close it and what do you know it's just a little bit short of clearance on one side here so now I'm gonna open the box back up and sand this down a little bit and do what I need to do to make sure that this all lines up correctly alrighty I've got everything put together here to dry fit it um, everything lines up nice um, it's ready for the graphic uh, but um, most importantly the box opens and closes smoothly with the hinge uh, attaching the bottom uh, to the box top uh, there's my nuts with the nylon inserts and the washers going through the neck this is a really good way to attach things if you ever need to work on your coil or something like that it's really easy to to take apart and um, it works for me so once again thanks for watching my channel and the support you give me and I'll see you next time